Hey everyone, it's Darren Benson with Performance Moto Coaches. Wanted to do a video a little bit different than we've ever done before, and we want to talk about ordering a coach. So specifically, ordering a Renegade XL. Um, fortunately, the Renegade XL product line is pretty uh, streamlined, so there's nothing. There's not a lot of crazy options. Uh, you know, there's decor groups, but I wanted to kind of get in a little bit further on kind of what you can and can't do. So we'll start with the outside and then we'll kind of jump on the inside. I'll probably end up jumping around a little bit as things kind of pop up in my brain. So essentially, there's basically four, four floor plans for the XL right now. The most common one uh, that we deal in is the 45 DBM. That's 45 foot coach, provided you're on a 126 chassis. The other most common floor plan we've done is the 43 DB. 43 DB. Now keep in mind, that's only 43 foot if you do on the shorter chassis. So that coach is 44 foot. Uh, pretty much most of them that have been built are on the longer hood, so they will be 44 foot. So I've had several conversations here lately where people have called me and said, you know, Darren, I want a new XL, but I want to be 42, 43 foot. The only way we can make that 43 dB get to 43 foot is through the shorter hood. And I've expressed that in the past. I didn't feel it kind of looked right being a really squatty little cab with such a long coach and very, very, very tall coach. So there again, preference. So um, in regards to the chassis, this really doesn't change. What changes is here. And then you have several inches that come out of the bumper. So I think the 126 looks the best. So essentially in an XL right now, you can essentially do four different combinations. So you can do the short hood, the long hood, we're kind of, kind of kind of divide this up. So short hood, long hood, two and two, because you can do different engine transmission in each one of those. So long hood, you can do the Allison transmission. Uh, the will be 600 horse, so you can do the Allison transmission or the DT transmission. So essentially, that's a 12 speed versus uh, six speed. And then you can do the short hood, same deal. You can do the DT transmission or you can do the Allison transmission. I prefer the DT transmission. There again, just kind of a matter of preference. As far as chassis to chassis, really what you're looking at is you got 525 horse, uh, 1850 torque in the shorter hood, 600 horse, 1850 uh, in the long hood. You probably wouldn't really be able to tell much difference other than transmission. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, there's really nothing else out there. Next door, we've got a uh, pre-owned XL that came to us uh, on a Volvo. You won't see any Volvos uh, built for 2024 or 2025 for that matter. So we'll kind of run down the side. Dual awnings are standard. The Gerard uh, rooftop awnings are standard. Uh, now, exterior wise, variation of windows, opening windows, non-opening windows, different sizes. The uh, 45, well, all, the, all of the XLs will come with uh, the 600 aqua so no option there kind of what you would see right here the only option would be if you wanted stainless no stainless and if you wanted uh, stainless baggage handle or black baggage handle outdoor tv is standard the drawer type step is standard we've got some step covers here it drives me nuts if anybody steps on the um on that uh, grip tape with any kind of dirty shoe so we like to cover those uh, we generally take our shoes off before we walk inside. Keyless entry is standard. Of course, tandem axle will be standard. You cannot get an XL in a single axle. This customer has provided some extra hardware, so we're kind of going through that. This coach is sold, but I just wanted to give it a good opportunity to give us an idea of what you can and can't do. Uh, 25 and newer, all the baggage compartments will be lined uh, standard, so not an option there. We did not do any kind of a midship turn signal, so we generally will do a midship turn signal here or here. Uh, that's something we can always add after the fact, so it's not a big deal uh, at taking out of the dealership, but that is an option. Come to the back of the coach. The only real option on the back of the coach is you can get this assembly in a torsion. Um, there again, it weighs about double what that weighs. Um, I don't really think there's that big of an issue to have that much flex. Uh, we don't do a lot of towing. A lot of our customers don't do really heavy towing, but I guess um, in some applications, some customers might feel that having the torsion within this to kind of, you, you already have air rides, so there again, preference, but I, I think the money's well, 
uh, spent elsewhere. So the 50 amp plug on the left hand side, everything else will be standard. And then we did option a uh, plug there on the right, just a 110. We have several plugs on the other side and technically we could option a 110 plug in any compartment uh, for that matter. So we could, uh, you could do two, three, you could do 15 amp, you could do 20 amp, uh, you could do 12 volts. So those are things that uh, not a big deal if it's not done from the factory because we can always do it here at the dealership. So wet bay, there again, everything will be standard there. Um, the, you do have the sea level monitoring that's standard as well. The only option on this particular side right here is the macerator pump for your dump station. So that is optioned right there. That's about an $800 retail option. More waste tanks, we get in here. So for 24, the batteries were options. So the, you do basically uh, two, three, or four lithium batteries. The dual Vecton inverters were standard. Starting in 25, all that's standard. So technically, the seats are an upgrade. If you brought your own chassis, which we don't bring any of our own uh, Freightliner Cascadias, um, but a customer, if they wanted to do a different seat after the fact that had more options and features, we could just do their standard seat. Uh, this is a leather seat. It is covered to match the rest of the upholstery we generally order them with just to kind of make it match everything else. Uh, if you get the, the heated seats, it will already be wired. Additionally, there's a subwoofer. So if you were doing a 116 chassis, you fuel right back here instead of right here. So everything gets pushed back just a little bit on the 116 versus the 26 being a little bit longer. Now, as far as paint schemes, so this particular paint scheme is a deviation of solstice. I, you know, am really bad about, well, that was a good idea, but why don't we come up with a better idea? Uh, some people, I probably drive nuts, but I like doing things just a little bit different. So the solstice, which is this paint job, instead of white here, it's kind of like a, like a greenish blue. I just decided to kind of change it. Uh, the most common paint job we see in the Explorer is a Stratus, which is kind of the deviation of all these colors. So I really think it turned out really well. Um, you could come to me and say, Darren, you know, I have like the Zenith paint job or the Nebula or whatever it is. We could take any paint job and just change one color. It's about a thousand dollar option to change one color, but it kind of will individualize the coach for you, have something a little bit different. Uh, technically, you could change the entire paint job. So there is another tier to be able to do a complete new paint job get kind of wild and crazy on that stuff. Those pr paint prices can, can get in excess of 50 grand. So you're probably talking roughly about a $10,000 increase from there. We get this closed up. If we do the blackout, we generally do the blackout here at the dealership. So we would come with all black instead of the stainless or the chrome trim. So we'll jump inside and kind of give you some ideas. We also have some, the core, so solid surface is standard. Several variations in regards to the tile floors. The heated tile floors will be standard in 25. Now, what we did differently in this 45 D dBm, typically you have a seating group right here. We've built desk here. We've built dog crates here. We've done bar tops here. We've done a cabinet like a hut. So. Some of the stuff can be done from Renegade, some of it has to be done after the fact. The reason why I like this floor plan right here is because I can order it with just this televator put into place, <clears throat> and then I can take and put whatever I want to there after the fact, versus the 43 dB, everything is kind of put together, uh, flushed up, and so it's a little bit harder to take and do a lot of deviations. So I like this floor plan right here. I like having this big picture window right here to be able to see out, be able to sit over here and see out as well. So I really like this um, now. We did one other thing. Normally this is a little flip down, so kind of like this, uh, but it flips all the way down. And so all your AV stuff is there. There again, most people are not using satellite dishes anymore. Um, we'll have to do a receiver, which uh, we'll do that just with a radio frequency. But basically the nice thing is you can regain 
I think we'll probably end up just putting that receiver in here so the customer can access it. But uh, another thing we do that's a little bit different, uh, this customer wanted a different, um, basically profile on the cabinet. And uh, we, as long as it's something they've built before, I can pretty much get it done. Uh, don't really know exactly what I can get done at times. Uh, depends upon um, how, how much I frustrate or bother or anger somebody, but this particular customer did not like the standard cabinet for 2024, which is this guy right here. Um, I was not a fan of it. I don't know if you can kind of hear that. Just that, just that I can tell that the panel's making a little bit of noise and they've actually gotten away from this for 2025. Uh, it's slightly different than this. It's uh, like, a, like a mock race panel. I don't have that yet, but uh, in time I will. I've got some, uh, some artist renditions of it, but um, if you're buying an XL and you say, Darren, you know, I, I really want something a little bit different, it's probably in this group I can probably get it done. So the don't hold all this um, to be uh, the facts, but for the most part, I can change certain things. You kind of have to have a hierarchy of lists on what's important and what you can kind of deviate, but it gives you a good, good idea of, okay, what's important, what's not important to it. Anyway, this coach turned out beautiful with what was coined the Epic Slag. This is probably the most, this, this is the number one cabinet in the Classic. I think it looks pretty good, nice and easy to keep clean. Now, as far as stains, everything will pretty, pretty much sound. I'm trying to go around here and kind of visualize things. No option for a ceiling fan. Can't do it in here. We could option for a ceiling fan in the back of this coach, but not up here. Cab layout's gonna be pretty much all the same. You'll have um, your 360 cams over the top. That is standard. You will have a hitch cam right down below, and both of those will actually serve as a GPS. This is a Garmin 851 GPS and monitor in one, and then the center is a wired CarPlay, uh, but it also has a TomTom Tom app built within that. So pretty much standard here. Optional furniture, basically we can do, I guess technically I could build this with any furniture group that I wanted here. So essentially your furniture groups will be dinette, a theater seat, and a couch. So if you wanted two couches, I could build this with two couches. I could build it with theater seats all the way down. I could build it with two dinettes. So if you needed a really high-end mobile cafe with two, with two dinettes here, I could probably get them done with two dinettes. So a few different options and variations there. There are again, a few different choices of leather as well. So, my, my little things have come off here. I need to get them labeled a little bit better. So, in that, the average dealer, you walk in and you pick A, B, C, one, two, three, four, and then everything is pretty much set from there. We, however, don't generally follow that. So, if you're like, hey, Darren, you know, what is the decor group? Essentially, it's bedding that generally gets put in a trash can or in a trash bag that goes in a closet, in a barn, wherever. So I don't worry too much about the bedding. Most people don't use the bedding. Now, the big thing the decor group does is your valances. So if you're looking at this, basically your top two materials associated with the valances. We have solved a little bit of that as an issue for 2025. So we can get wood inserts. So no more will I pay attention to decor because most people would prefer a wood valance instead of the fabric covered. There again, it's a matter of preference, but just keep in mind that we can kind of deviate things outside of the decor group. If you're looking at this, you know, basically they're labeled. So if you were dealing with me, I would basically send you a picture of this. And so you would know what the leather is as opposed to the decor group. This is this is the Linea Sinera, which is there again, that's kind of my number one. This is Cape Cod, which is my number one. I take that back. This, <laughs> this is Rockport, which is number one and a half. Um, Cape Cod looks really good. It's really light feel. Uh, I've done a few of the Rockports. Uh, we do, we're doing more of the classics, um, but the, I guess you could probably flip a coin, but kind of my, basically the, these two decor, this two, wood stains and that would be my number one we have a customer that's been talking to us about doing this a little bit lighter leather with the cape cod just don't know until we kind of push it out 
there again, that's why I've got the notes on the backsplash because you don't have to pick within that decor group. In fact, this customer right here basically picked the Oasis, which is this backsplash and it's called Geoscape. They wanted that backsplash in the entire coach. We did not do any lavatory with this particular backsplash right here. Um, some of that's gonna be a little bit open up uh, in the air for the 2025s, but there again, I can generally fight pretty hard on if you decided you'd like some variation of a countertop that wasn't in the decor group, I can generally get that done. Um, of course, in your flooring, you basically pick uh, one, two, three there. Um, you know, the Dermid, the Durban White, which has actually changed slightly, is the most common uh, flooring. You know, it's the lightest. Um, probably the number two would be this Elegance Pro, uh, which is our number one in the classic. So don't worry, don't stress out about, you know, hey, my wife really liked that Cambria, but she liked that that's not offered in this. And, that, and so don't, don't get too hung up on that because essentially that's the reason why I like to actually call all these out and know what they are versus decor this, decor that. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, for somebody that is interested in getting a coach, we do have samples. We generally have a lot more of the ultra leather, but we are getting some more leather samples. I've inquired about, I think Renegade has some samples I'm gonna to try to get my hands on to be able to ship out to some other people, but uh, keep in mind that we can ship out. We always have uh, the wood in hand, the tile sometimes, you know, sometimes yes, sometimes no, but uh, you know, if you need to have these textiles in your hand, we can generally accommodate you uh, once we get a little, little bit further into the building process. So set this aside. So kind of go over this, like I said, this talked a little bit earlier, that was the 2024 panel. So essentially what the 25 panel is going to look like is this raised, slightly raised portion without a lip about to right here. And all they did was kind of stiffen up that center panel so you don't kind of get that noise. Of course, these are two different styles of a raised panel right here and then just the epic slab. So you can see the four color groups four color groups and a little bit different style. Every single panel is a little bit different. I kind of walk around the coach a little bit. The uh, the refrigerator is standard. So basically this kind of a glass insert, you could take and change that stuff. After the fact, we've had people inquire about stainless steel refrigerators because it is a little bit wider refrigerator. It's not something we've tackled, but worst case scenario, we pull it, we, you know, we pull the refrigerator here and we put whatever refrigerator you want in. After the fact, we can always basically either get it through a big window, disassemble it, we'll figure out a way to get the refrigerator in there as long as it fits in the hole. So that's kind of the most important. Starlink will be an option for the 2025s. We install them here at the dealership quite regularly. You can see where we basically mount this wall, put a power strip in. Got to turn the Starlink off if you're in parked indoors. It just seems to have lots of issues, but you can kind of tell your power wire runs nice nice and clean and then we go up to the ceiling so no real option on the uh, pantry here but just wanted to show you there i suppose if you wanted something after the fact and say hey you know i don't want four drawers i want a big drawer up here we could just order the drawer after the fact have this drawer deleted and be able to just be able to use these same styles there this <clears throat> customer did not want a washer dryer so we're able just to put some storage in there and some plugins back there as well. Half bath, don't oh, the only deviation. That's where it's a work in progress. We generally put a bypass on the toilets. Um, so if you get into a crunch and your tanks are over halfway full, you can still flush toilets. You if you've seen the forums, people talk about Santa Marines. Once you get about sixty percent. Sometimes it'll show a full, even though you know your tanks are indeed full, can't flush the toilet. So we can put a bypass there. That's something we do here at the dealership. Can't think of any real deviation here other than the customer did a little bit different backsplash than what would be called for in the lavatories, which I think it looks really good. Take and deviate that. I don't have this slide out out. I don't know why I didn't put the slide out out. But um, so back here, this was something we did different. So instead of doing a AV center there that has the mesh screen, we just did a, and all the wires are already back there. So if you need to take and change something in up and you know, we could do it. It's not a big deal. 
if you wanted to add it back and had to be able to use like your uh, Blu-ray player, DVD that needed line of sight, Atari, uh, you could still, we could just take and change that door out. But I like to be able to put that in there, maximize the storage. One thing we are excited about for the 2025s, drawers, 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 instead of these guys. So pretty excited about being able to option the drawers there. Pushed pretty hard for that. So this customer right here was fine with the 66 inch wide bed. We can do the 72. If you do the 72 from the factory, you lose these guys all together. Nice thing where we come in, you want these, we basically order them, we cut them down and we put them back into place. So you kind of get the best of both worlds if you want. Now keep in mind, it's a little bit tighter here, but I'm a decent sized guy. You're talking three inches. Wouldn't think it would be a big deal to lose three inches on either side of the bed. There again, preference. Uh, window shades are all standard uh, power and then you have these are power back here as well, but you actually have uh, just switches, independent switches, as opposed to a remote. I did a few more plugs than what was normal. Didn't catch that. We did um, actually caught one that uh, that needed to be spec. So additional plugs in the kitchen, additional plug back here, and then one thing that we are going to do that we haven't done, so we can get Renegade from the factory to put a, an extra piece of PEX in the wall so we can do a shower miser. So essentially you run that shower miser and then um, you're not just waiting for your warm water to get its location. Turn it on, turn this valve, it bypasses the water back to your tank. You'll put a little button on the wall that will illuminate, let you know it's warm, and then you can basically conserve a fair amount of water. A lot of our customers seem to be in areas that aren't, always have water every single night, so it's nice to be able to conserve a few gallons. No real options that I can think of back here. Did the toilet bypass the, well, I, I take that back. So the, this would be standard. We were able to do a three tiered um, shower caddy there. Now for 2025, the, the shower caddy will actually be inset in the wall. Uh, we did a little bit of variation here. Normally it's a big body spray. Just did the old school slide hip, slide down. Be able to wash yourself, wash the dog. So that normally that is not what would be featured in the back of an XL. There again, that small, more mosaic tile would normally be on the floor of this and on the backsplash, but I think this looks far better, easier to clean and maintain. Now for 25, they will have a whole opposing wall that will be slightly uh, different there on the back wall. Still haven't been able to get rid of the carpet for 25. Maybe 26, maybe 2026. Trying to think of anything else that uh, is, is a real option. Uh, we always have a kind of a, a good idea, a good list. When, when customers approach me, we generally, uh, you tell to kind of tell me roughly what you want. I send you a build sheet with every single thing on there and we just start peeling options off. I try to give you as many options as possible as opposed to for, for you, as opposed to you saying, well, you didn't tell me this, you didn't tell me this, you didn't tell me this. And there's nothing like buying something and then being somewhat dis, you know, distraught after the fact that this or that wasn't available. I don't really think our customers generally feel that. I try to give them as many options as possible, give you an idea of everything you can do, um, not leave anything out, not leave anything uh, to the imagination or to the, not, not have any fear uh, that you're basically buying a coach without these options. And, I've seen that if you generally option up a unit, uh, the resale is always there. You, you can always apologize for the price. You can't apologize for things it doesn't have. It either has them or it doesn't. So I think it's a good idea to basically check every single box, peel off a few things from there, but give, you know, give a good idea of kind of what it's all about. Um, you know, it's something we really enjoy doing. The XL line uh, is going to be, you know, probably our premier line coming from here on forward. We've done really well with the classics, but I just really like the way everything turns out. Uh, we're able to, you know, change a few things that we thought could be changed, and they've been pretty receptive to all those things. So pretty happy with everything. We do have some 2025 availability coming, and then we can always accommodate people further down the line to be able to order something. But I think we've got uh, one or two that will be ready this summer, late, late summer, that's, uh, that's available. So make sure you guys check us out online. It's pmcrv.com. Call a dealership. 
they'll get you in touch with me. Uh, you know, once we get in touch, you know, we get, I get customers that call, text, email, all kinds of uh, times of night. And that's something that most of those dealerships don't do. You know, I, I get that you can't think about a coach from eight to five or from, you know, nine to six. You're thinking about stuff on the nights and weekends. And I generally accommodate those customers. All right, I've got this question. Or can I do this? A lot of things pop, pop into your head, you know, Thursday night at 1030 at night. If I'm awake, I'll answer you. Uh, that's something that we've done really well with. And I think it's a part of part of the process if you're spending this much money on a coach you should be able to accommodate customers needs once and wishes so appreciate everybody that's come out to see us um, all the business we've had we just continue to stay busier and busier busier I know a lot of the dealers it's not the case I think I think I've always said hard work really pays off and uh, really fortunate to have everything We've got a great group of guys here that understand the product that do phenomenal job that really put a lot of pride in you can see you know, they, they were working the coach earlier and they had this mat out because they had their tools on. I wanted to use that. You just things that you don't normally see. These guys are top, top notch. Um, we have a great relationship and I don't think you'll see anybody in the country give you the service that you'll get here at the dealership. Check us out online, pmcrv.com. Give us a shout. Make sure you guys like, tag, and subscribe.